Welcome back again to Joe Stunner Boxing. Um, Joe Joyce finally knocks out Cash Alley in the 10th of final round. I think it was about seven seconds to go. <laughs> so poor old Cash Alley. I mean, he took his lumps. What a tough guy. But finally he got put on the floor, um, ended up stretched out under the ropes, um, managed to get up, but it was a second too too late. Um Cash Alley took a horrendous pound in. By the seventh round, he was barely throwing a punch back. In the final round, he did try and sling some, you know, overhand rights, which is what he was doing, which was still pinging off Joe Joyce's head. Uh, from the word go, Joyce was as vulnerable defensively and as stout of chin as he's as he has been in the past. Zile Zhang accepted, uh, but. Look, Joyce was, what was he, 20 stone and six pounds, so 20 and a half stone against a guy who was a domestic level opponent, um, three and a half stone lighter. I mean, I think all the props should go to Cash Alley, to be honest with you. Joyce was unbelievably slow. I mean, from the word go, he was you know, almost pushing his punches and... God almighty. I mean, anyone who was world class, anyone who could box, anyone who had good feet would, would be... Boxing this guy's head off, you know, ping ping with the jab, sidestep. I mean, okay, ten rounds is quite a long time to continue doing that, but Cash Alley he was using his jab to start with. But the overhand rights, again and again, it was landing. It just and it's not like Ali was firing really fast overhand rights. I suppose they were relatively fast, but they were finding finding the home. I mean, no effort whatsoever. Of, from Joyce to get out of the way. No no defensive nous at all. Walk forward, walk forward. By the third round, maybe the fourth, his engine was running and he was, you know, letting more punches go. Um, he started to bang Ali to the body. And I think in the seventh round, for the first time, Ali looked completely out of gas. I think the body punches probably did that. And his body language was, was very poor, Cash Ali. He was turning his back and walking away and you know, trying to fiddle his way through it. It was, there was one thing I liked from Joyce, and that was that when Cash Alley sort of tried to seek refuge up close in the eye of the storm, Joyce was was pinging short hooks to the body, which was really good to see. Um, if there was any distance between them, yes, Cash Alley could have fired the overhand right again. It, no doubt it would have landed. Um, he didn't do any body work at all, which is always intriguing because, Joyce, there is still that ongoing feeling that Joyce can be hurt to the body. Um, but Cash Alley, I mean, he's a domestic level fighter. He's he's held the IBF European title, whatever the hell that is, you know, some junk sanctioning body belt. But he was last seen against Bowden Mironets of, um, I think he's I think he's based in Latvia in, in Riga, but but he's originally from Ukraine. He's the guy who, after beating Ali on points over six rounds, beat Nathan Gorman over, was it eight? Eight rounds? So he's he's had back-to-back -back wins on, on British soil, Miranets. And in fact, if you look at the rankings, he's number 10 in the Bridgerweight world rankings. He's a world-class Bridgerweight. But all joking aside, he's not too bad a fighter, Miranets. He's only about 29, so he's, he, he deserves, if he can get out in a cruiserweight, he can make a bit of a splash, I think. But, but anyway, that was Ali's last... The fight, um, he lost it on points, widely on points. I think I gave him one of the six rounds. Uh, in this, I thought Joyce would just smash right through him. But no, he's got a very good chin, Cash Alley. Um, but Joyce, did he show anything in this fight? No, not really. I mean, just, just an, a very good jaw, a complete lack of defense, pretty good engine. Um 20 stone and six pounds. Oh, that's a lot of weight, isn't it? That's a lot of weight. Nah, nah, I wouldn't wouldn't be up for that. I think that's that's too heavy. I know he's a, naturally a very big man, but surely that's too heavy. Um, and, of course, anyone, could, you, you can do 30 rounds if you're having things your own way, and he was having things his own way against Ali, no doubt about it. But um, I was disappointed for Cash Ali that he got floored. Big, huge thumping punch put him on the floor. But I was hoping he would get to the end of the 10 rounds, which would have been a moral victory. Couldn't quite do it, though. Um, so is Joe Joyce back? Not really. What is he now, 38? 
huge man, six foot six, 80 inch, inch reach. No, I don't know. Um, the sheer size and strength of the man is always going to pose some people problems, the more brittle heavyweights problems. But if you've got some durability, even if you've only got domestic level skills like Cash Alley did, you can take this guy around. There's no doubt about it. Um, be interesting to see him fight Parker again. I don't know. Hmm. But anyway, Joe Joyce um, stops Cash Alley in the 10th and final round with only I think, with seven seconds to go. What do you think of it? What do you think of Joyce's? Do you think he's got a future at world level? Um, were you su surprised as I was that Cash Alley was able to absorb so much punishment? I was surprised, I've got to be honest. Um, but he needs to go, you know, drop way, way back down to um, to domestic level, you know, even area level. Go for the area belt and pick up the English, the British. Do it that way. Uh, I don't know, old Cash Alley, I think he's 30, 32, is he? Something like that. So he might have a bit of time left. But anyway, give me your opinions below. Let me know what you think. And um, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Please hit the like button and I'll catch you later. Bye for now.